storytelling through film and television has evolved over the years to include cutting-edge visual effects. Many of the shots audiences see are a combination of material that has been filmed, as well as material that has been created digitally. There will be characters, environments, and other elements not captured during the shoot that are being produced as computer graphics. As the story progresses in editorial, it can be challenging to evaluate shots and guide them confidently towards a final look without seeing this imagery in the context of the plates that are used. A technique to quickly preview shots in editorial before final delivery is post-visualization, also known as post-vis. During editorial, post-vis fills in the voids to show as much of the story as possible. Computer graphics are added to the live-action photography. Rigs and wires are removed and plates can be merged together. Directors, editors, and producers can evaluate what has been filmed and shape the material to represent the essence of the shots they are looking for. A picture of what the shots, and therefore the finished story, can be quickly produced and communicated. Typical shots worked on in post viz include shots with empty blue and green screens. Shots that will have digital set extensions or complete set rebuilds are often post viz post -viz can be used to demonstrate how multiple passes of action, such as actors photographed in different plates, will come together in a single shot. New shots or scenes portraying CG worlds or environments can be crafted during post-production. Whether a digital prop or a superpower, story-driven visual effects can be creatively illustrated with the characters. From cockpits to vehicles, post -viz can portray CG action that needs to surround or tie into an actor. Digital stunts, such as takeovers from live characters to digital doubles, can also be roughed out. Characters and creatures that are entirely CG are major drivers in today's cinematic narratives. post -viz can depict versions of these key assets playing dynamically across the shots. From fully CG heroes to signature attributes, anything vital for the storytelling can be visualized. During post -vis, artists skilled in compositing, match moving, and 3D animation merge or augment the raw live action with computer graphics imagery, set extensions, or other plate photography. Plates selected by editorial are tracked, and previs or other previously developed material is added to create a preview of the collective imagery. Compositing in post-viz is meant as a quick representation and is done at the quality and turnaround defined by the production. Post-viz artists may evolve or upgrade the look and animation of something already existing, or they might visualize totally new shots, functioning as a previs team in post. Once the creatives are happy with the ideas as expressed in post-viz, shots are turned over for final animation and compositing. Postviz can be used as reference for visual effects budgeting and bidding, and setups from Postviz can be ingested into visual effects pipelines and further advanced. As the cinematic craft continues to push the bounds of possibility, with high stakes on tight schedules, Postviz is increasingly important to everyone concerned on a project. With Postviz, the main live action and CG building blocks of shots can be viewed and gauged cohesively before the final product is delivered. The creative intent and complexity can be conveyed, and visual effects craftsmanship can be channeled into the final product based on plates and shots that are confirmed to work in the edit. Studio reviews and test screenings can be presented, and feedback can be gathered with cuts that are more visually complete. Whereas previs helps communicate the vision before any photography has occurred, post-vis has become essential to seeing that vision all the way through.